I was asked, how do you get the truck off the bike? I mean, the bike off the truck. <laughs> well, there's a few circumstances that go along with that. If it's a solo operation, there's two things that are key factors. I'm kind of scary. So, your truck needs to be lower to the ground. Low as possible. And you need to have a three wide ramp. That way you can be a solo operation. If your truck is a normal truck that sits high, like my blue truck over there, you need to have a three wide ramp and a lower and a lower situation. Because when you run the bike up the ramp, if the incline is too steep, you're gonna bottom out the frame on the bike. So it's better to have, in my case, because I try to not rely on nobody else in a situation where I'm ready to go, people may not be there to go with me. So I'm gonna show y'all how it goes down. I didn't put film it, film it putting it up, but I'll film it coming down just to give you an idea of how I do it. It doesn't apply to everybody's situation because situations may be different upon um, your height of your truck and your wideness. I can do it with sitting on the driveway, but I like to just block the street and take it even lower. truck three rack for your truck for those of you who heard him talk about his blue truck there's his blue truck with the high tailgate now going back to the white truck see how low it is that's what he's referring to It also helps when you're working by yourself to have a wheel chuck that will hold your bike in place. Oh yeah. The wheel chuck is right there as you can see. I'm trying to focus in on it. It holds your bike up when you take your straps off your bike. It'll stay centered. It'll stay centered. And if you put your, as you see I got the um, detail rags going around with a fork with a frame and the um, where the fender meets the crash bar, the fender meets the fork for it. One thing I found out from previous experience, when you strap it onto the upper crash bar, you compress the shot. At the same time, you can blow the seal out. So if you just compress it right here, you're just compressing the tire. I've seen people do it the other way. I did it in the past, but it seems like it worked out better this way. Get your wheel chuck from your local Harbor Freight. Mine, I don't even mount it to the truck because I might move it from time to time. Right there, hit the ground. 
you will be upset at yourself. People that do that front break, same as backing down a hill. And you are. That's pretty much it. How to get the bike off the trailer. Pretty much put it on the reverse scenario. Get to your lowest point, you can find a loading dock. We use the sidewalk over here and the solo operation. One of the key parts to it for a solo is this right here. I've seen people do it with um, with single bikes, single, single, single ones. But it's too steep. See these dents in the front, it's in the ramp. This one too steep incline, the bottom of the bike will hit that. It'll knock these off. So that's your how-to today, Money's Car Stereo. Let you see what I see. If you have to be on the truck, this is how you get it up and off and on the truck. I'm on the ground most of the time, but you know, passenger don't want to ride, you know, take it easy. Don't blame it on her. You know, I'm just saying, I ain't gonna explain too much why I'm in the truck, but I'm in the truck. I'm out of here. Cut that. Got another pretty one from LA to the bay. I did this one also a little while ago. Just added tour pack on to him. It definitely gave him that surround sound with that tour pack on there. Y'all might have recall seeing this one a while ago. He was pretty from head to toe. But yeah, that um another double den in the road glide. True double den. Had to do a little um massaging of the interfering and whatnot. But, um... Let me ask you something. If you were starving, I wouldn't give your ass a crumb. You're like an overcooked steak, bitch. You're well past done. I got some news you can use. Some of you dudes playing football with basketball rules. This game is don't try to compare it. Telling your side bitch all your business is you repeating it like a parrot. Don't get it twisted. Don't call me daddy. Don't call me your highness. If I stick my fist out, you better yeah, kiss yeah. it. I'll have her sprung like some dumb. I like I said, we're keeping it moving all day, every day. Even on Friday nights. Gotta go. Oh, look what we had over here. Yeah, that's some work I put in on this. You know how many screws it takes to put this together? Shit. Live and direct from Money's Car Stereo. Got your bag locks back in stock. A lot of people have called me about these items, which were out of stock. Now we're back in. Um, these work on, shit, 2000, shit, far back as 99, all up to the 13 baggers. They don't work on the new baggers, That's which is 14 and up. It's a different locking mechanism, so it will not work with those. Um, hit me for the price. It's pretty much like $80 shipping included due to shipping and the weight um it's heavy and so basically it works is remove your old part of your lock on your bike which is this part right here from the bag remove that and this of course the shackle slides in from the back side and locks in and pretty much your bag will not come off as long as you securely mate the two pieces together and that will lock you in so bags are open, easy to open the old style bags. And so if you want to keep what's yours, namely your bag and all your personal contents that's in it, amps that are mounted to it, speakers and stuff, hey, hit me up, Money's Car Stereo, Iron Hard to Find, 650-906-8878. Message me, text me, we're out.